Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five sunscreen mistakes you are probably making. So you guys know that I really do like talking about sunscreen because it's the biggest deal, okay? So if you like to know what you're probably doing wrong, you know, what mistakes you're probably making with your sunscreen usage and non-usage, please keep on watching this video and we'll get right into it. Hey and welcome back. My name is Falasha Day. My old subscribers, how are you guys doing? If you are new here, I usually like talk about skincare lifestyle and use with the that, that. Please make sure to you know go through the channel, watch two, three or more videos. We'll definitely see one or two that would catch your fancy and you would find out cool. Before I go ahead and talk about the social media mistakes are probably making, I'll just like to give to tell you a few benefits of you know, wearing sunscreen because it feels like for now it's always shouting about sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Why are we wearing sunscreen? So one of the one of the reasons why sunscreen is important is that it helps to to reduce your you know premature aging of your skin. It helps to reduce aging of your skin. It helps to reduce dehydration. If you don't wear sunscreen, your face will get easily dehydrated compared to somebody that wears sunscreen. Uh, aging, aging, I, as we grow older, our skin tends to age, you know, wrinkles, you know, dragging and all of that. Wearing sunscreen helps to reduce the aging process, to slow down the aging process. Wearing sunscreen as well also helps to prevent sunburn. I've told you guys that there was a time I wasn't wearing sunscreen and my face burnt out and all of that, yeah. So if you wear sunscreen, you would prevent, you know, further or subsequent sunburns. It also helps me with my melanin production. Um, I don't know if that is the right word for it, but I notice anytime I don't wear sunscreen for like two, three days, my black spots become more obvious. I would leave home looking very sharp and glowing, and then by the time I come back home, I'm looking darker, my black spots are darker, and then I have start having textured face and all of that. So yeah, sunscreen is the biggest deal. So guys, do you have a sunscreen and do you use this religiously? Let me know in the comment section down below what sunscreen you are currently wearing or your favorite sunscreen. So yeah, moving on to the sunscreen mistakes you're probably making. The first sunscreen mistake you're probably making is that you apply sunscreen only when you are going out. At the moment, I'm filming this video on a Saturday. I am not going anywhere. I add my bath, dress up, wore my, used my skincare products and I used sunscreen. I am at home. I'm not going out. I don't have any plans of going out today. But I'm wearing sunscreen. Hear me out. So, yeah, we are trying to, you know, avoid the, we are wearing sunscreen to protect our skin from sun and from the UV ray, radiation and all of that. Yes, we are not stepping to the sun, but do you know that your windows are going to be open, there will be dark cracks, some high-level sun rays are still coming in, high-level UV rays are still coming in. No matter what, there will still be some rays of sun that will still enter your house. So, better use sunscreen and you know that you are protected whether, whether it comes in or not. Which will definitely even come in. So if you are you if you if you tend to use sunscreen only when you are stepping out, you are not you are not yeah, yeah that's a mistake. Whether you are at home or not, please wear sunscreen every morning or afternoon. Okay, if you want to sleep at night, I'm not advising you to wear sunscreen. But if you wake up in the morning and you're at home, you're not going anywhere, please wash your face, dress up, you know, do your skincare routine and wear your sunscreen. Another sunscreen mistake you're probably making is that you are applying too little sunscreen. So the normal sunscreen, the quantity of sunscreen you're supposed to use is like 1 over 4 of a teaspoon or use two fingers. So you take your sunscreen and draw, put from air, from air to air and from air to air, right? Use two sunscreen fingers. That is for your face and you know just extend it to your neck generally if you use too little sunscreen it might not it is definitely not enough to protect your skin so that's why if you are getting sunscreen that has very you know big very that that has that leaves a lot of white scars you may tend to use very little sunscreen but it is not it is not enough it's not protecting you enough you need at least one over four of a teaspoon or two long two fingers you know worth of sunscreen okay if you are if you don't use up to two fingers of sunscreen you are, you are doing it wrong you are doing it wrong another sunscreen mistake you're probably making is staying long if you stay for a long time in the sun because you are wearing a sunscreen you get i also make this mistake sometimes but it's not intentional so sometimes you go out and you're like ah you said this so yeah no problem i'm wearing a sunscreen sis yeah it shouldn't be like that okay it should not be like that i know that you are wearing a sunscreen but don't intentionally stay too long in the sun your sunscreen does not last one application does not last you 
the whole day. Technically, you're supposed to reapply your sunscreen every two to three hours. Okay, but we are in Nigeria and we probably don't even have that kind of time to be reapplying sunscreen every two to three hours. So imagine that you now wore your sunscreen since morning and by 3 p.m. you are staying inside the sun. You are intentionally staying inside the sun because, oh, I'm wearing sunscreen, you know, my skin is, or you want to even test whether your sunscreen is effective. You are going to stand inside the sun. You are not doing you. You are not doing me. Okay, so avoid, still try as much as possible to avoid the sun. That's why the fact that you are using sunscreen. Okay. Another sunscreen mistake you are probably making is relying on the sunscreen on your moisturizer. So it is no news that some moisturizers come with, you know, SPF 25, SPF 15, sunscreen and all of that. So you may think, oh, my moisturizer has sunscreen or there are some makeup products that even have sunscreen. Some foundation, some powder, you know, some setting sprays, they have sunscreen. So if you are relying on the protection on those products as your source of sunscreen, you are not doing it right, okay? You are not, I'm telling you, you know, I mentioned that you should use two fingers long worth sunscreen. You are not using enough products. Enough, you are not using enough moisturizer. You are not using enough makeup products to, you know, offer to, to offer you protection. To offer you the amount of protection you need for the day. It is not enough. The sunscreen in your powder is not enough. The sunscreen in your moisturizer is not enough. Please wear sunscreen. Don't say, oh, because my my my, my moisturizer has some SPF 15, uh, I'm no longer, my own moisturizer has SPF 15, and I still wear sunscreen. My sunscreen even is SPF 15, and I try my sunscreen to run away from the sun, and still, my skin is still not perfect, okay? Because with skincare, there is no perfection, as long as there is progress. Okay, and um, the last sunscreen mistake you're probably making is that you are mistaking expensive sunscreen for, you know, the more effective ones. There are some people that snub products. If it is not expensive, if it is not, you know, celebrities that are using it, I cannot use it. Guys, sunscreen is not like that. As long as a sunscreen contains, you know, it contains UVA, UVB, it contains SPF 50, SPF 30 and above, it contains either iron dioxide, either, either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, you know, it, it works. And then you use enough quantity and you use it consistently. You don't have to shun or snub any any sunscreen because it's, it's sold for 3,000 Naira, whereas there's one that is being sold for 10,000 Naira. Take for instance, I have two sunscreens there. This is called Fair Sunscreen SPF 60 with vitamin A, C, and E. And I have this other sunscreen. I bought this one for 2,500 Naira. And this is called Sunpot UV Perfect Gel SPF 50. I got this one for 8,500 Naira. They are both sunscreens. They are both very good. Why I'm choosing, why I like this, why I prefer this to this, is because this does not leave a white cast. Okay? This does not leave a white cast. This leaves a white cast. But in situations where I don't have access to this, I use this because it is equally very good. It's just that I have to wait a few more minutes to for it to set because of the white cast. This is 2,500 Naira or maybe 3K even. This is 8,500 Naira. There are other skin, there are other sunscreens that are being sold for 10,000 Naira, 15,000 Naira. As long as it has SPF 30 and above, and it has, you know, it tells you that it does UVA, UVB. No matter the cost, no matter how much it costs, sunscreen is sunscreen. Don't go and think until you have big money before you start using sunscreen. Okay? With 3,000 Naira, you can get a very good sunscreen. And that's on period. Okay? And yeah, um, this is a very good time to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, please say thumbs up. When I when you when you guys like videos, like when you click this thumbs up button, it just tells YouTube that it's an educational video and more people need to see. So they tend to show it to more people. You can also feel free to share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones, so that all of us can achieve this fine looking skin together. Okay. Thank you very thank you very much for watching and I will see you in another video. Peace.